Hey everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Trending. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have always been in the news. From Kanye's personality and Kim's popularity, the reality TV show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They both have a wide range of professional ventures that have put them in the headlines. And let's not forget about their children. Kim and Kanye have a long history, so let's dive to see how they're doing today. Stay until the end of the video, you don't want to miss out on how Kanye is dealing with his divorce and the effects it is having on his mental health. The pair met in 2003, but the romance did not start because Kim was married to Damon Thomas. They did strike up a friendship, and Kanye is verbal about being drawn to Kim immediately. Kanye began to ask who she was, which means he is not a fan of keeping up with the Kardashians. In 2008, Kanye West did a hip-hop puppet show, Alligator Boots. The producer was writing the part for another actress, and Kanye would not allow anyone other than Kim Kardashian to have Princess Leia's role. A friend remembers Kanye saying that Kim would be his girl, which shows after he still had intentions to make that happen. The world knows that Kanye goes after what he wants, and he is not a man that gives up quickly. In 2011, Kanye saw the headlines that Kim was going to marry Chris Humphreys, so Kanye began calling Kim to talk her out of it, but she went through the marriage. The marriage was 72 days long and when Kim filed for divorce. In 2012, Kanye chose not to hold back any longer and wrote a song to Kim. Kim's sisters began confirming that they were together and then outings were published by the media. By the end of December, they were having their first child. Northwest was born on June 15, 2013. Then, in October 2013, Kanye rented the AT&T Stadium in San Francisco and made a surprise proposal with her family hiding under the sign of the stadium, and Kim accepted. They were married in 2014 and expecting their second child in 2015. In 2018, their third child, a daughter, was born through a surrogate due to Kim's health condition. Their final and fourth child was born by surrogate in 2019, another boy. They have had the ups and downs all marriages have, but have remained together up till this point. In 2020, things started to get unusual, but Kim supports her husband through his presidential bid and then crash and burn when his mental health dived. In February 2021, Kim filed for divorce, but a statement is released that they intend to co-parent together and are remaining amicable. Kim and Kanye were nicknamed Kimye, joining their two names together as this is happening in the media for many celebrity couples. While they have many ventures together, they have even more apart, which focuses on their individuality. Kanye has a focus on his brand, religion, music, and politics. Some of these do mix together. Kim has a focus on law, fashion, and family. Some of these ventures overlap, but positively, such as Kim's law interest and Kanye's political interest. Kanye is a Trump supporter, and while he was in office, Kanye and Kim set up a meeting to discuss a woman that Kim was advocating for that was in prison for life for a lower level crime. Through this meeting, Kim was able to assist in releasing her from prison, and she is now an active member of society and the lead of her organization that advocates. This event made Kim see her love for law and intend to pursue her law degree. The year 2020 brought substantial change for both of them, and more and more time is spent apart with Kim reporting she was doing her thing and he was doing his. The rumor mill began to start, and the media began writing that there was trouble in paradise. By the end of the year, it was apparent that they were leading separate lives, but there was no evident immense fighting. Kanye was primarily living in Wyoming, and Kim was in their family home near her family. Reports began to surface that their marriage and vision were going in two separate directions. Kanye wants the family to live full-time in Wyoming, and Kim wishing to stay where she is because of her dedication to prison reform and her family. In January, Kim and Kanye quit marriage counseling, and Kanye began speaking with divorce lawyers. Reports reveal that Kim started talking to divorce lawyers in July 2020, but everything has been calm and civil. All financial details are ready to be split as a prenuptial was in place before marriage because their portfolios are pretty extensive. And they did have their ventures. During the separation, the media saw Kim in a bikini, wearing a Yeezy brand product, showing Kanye support, which speaks volume about their impending divorce. Sources report Kanye moved out on February 3rd due to the number of items moved from their mansion. Verification has still not been made as the couple has always had their privacy as a number one priority. Valentine's Day rolls around and they are not together. Kim has an event with her family and her children as she states that she is trying to make the day memorable for the kids. Kanye is still wearing his wedding ring even though Kim is no longer wearing hers, and reports state that Kanye is depressive and upset. 
Even under the best separation and divorce settings, a loss is still a loss, and Kim and Kanye were friends first. This divorce is not the standard Hollywood divorce, but it still has love and understanding. But Kim and Kanye know that they are heading in different directions. They are mature enough not to create a toxic environment for their family. Kim has concern for Kanye's well-being as it is public knowledge of the mental health traits. Kim supports Kanye in the past, present, and future, and this is for the best benefit of their children and being able to co-parent successfully. The reality shows that Kim shares with her family that Kanye has been rumored to document the divorce journey and will show Kim breaking down about the divorce. Even though this is a mutual decision, it will still be painful and take time to move on separately while still parenting together, which will be an ongoing transition. The media is putting a spin on this because the family is all about privacy and I am sure it will not end anytime soon. We still hear about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, but there is drama to be reported there. Currently, Kim is starting to move past everything and focus on herself and her children. She is more visible in the media and the public, but her emotional state was not in a good place until recently. Kim's dedication is to her family and making this transition a successful one, but Kanye is not ready for the step yet. Kanye has been keeping a low profile and spending a great deal of time in his Wyoming property. He reportedly has changed his phone number, so Kim has to go through other channels for communication. Kanye does keep regular contact with his children, and this is the main priority. Kim kept quiet about her marriage and divorce events, but she has begun to be more visible in the media after a grieving period. Recently, Kim made an appearance virtually at the Kids' Choice Awards to promote her upcoming animated movie, Paw Patrol. Kim's focus on this appearance was on the movie and her children's excitement about their mom being part of it. Kim's family has been a steady stream of support for Kim, the kids, and Kanye. There is no animosity towards Kanye. The family focuses on making family dynamics work because there is love regardless of whether the marriage has come to an end. This season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians is the final season as Kim focuses on the future and is halfway through her law degree to continue her prison reform journey and abolish the death penalty. Their divorce has been a massive topic in the final season, and since Kanye is a private person, this is potentially a factor that he is not happy with happening. Kim was a guest on Good Morning Vogue on March 15th, 2021, and made the statement that this has been a trying year for her family. Kim referred to the final season, pandemic, and divorce as a cleanse to her soul. Change is never an easy step, but keeping it civilized for the children is just the positive light that Kim has always seems to give in these circumstances. Kanye has not been as visible or verbal, but he has made some statements. One of those statements he made was that he believes that Kim is divorcing him because he did not win the 2020 presidential election. Looking back on the past several years, multiple things have come out of Kanye's mouth that are not positive. Kanye made the statement that did not sit well with many people, including his wife, saying slavery was a choice. This statement is problematic since he is a man of color, and racism stems from this period and is a constant fight in our country and the world. Kim did not take this statement well, which is not unusual since Kanye is the father to her children and becomes their heritage. Kanye has a speech at a South Carolina debate platform for presidential bid. He was attempting to introduce his stance on pro-life and made the statement that Kim and Kanye's first child almost ended in an abortion. The statement was very personal and intimate thing, and this was not the audience that needed to hear that type of information. This most likely is why he feels that the election was the reason for the marriage ending. Kanye West has focused on his Christian life in the headlines for the past few years, but there are feelings on either side. The Sunday service has the term that it is about music than about preaching and ministering. Some have given this religious event the name of a concert with choreography. Kanye won a Grammy on Sunday for his 2019 album that features the song Jesus is King. The Grammy is for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album, which makes this his 22nd Grammy to date. Kanye has many things on his plate between music, religion, family, and now an upcoming divorce. Yes, Kanye has had a habit of displaying much peculiar behavior, but he does have a mental illness, and through this, his bipolar may be taking a hit. His seclusion concerns Kim about his well-being, but she still wants to support him and successfully co-parent with him. Kanye and Kim were that couple that seemed to just be going, but all things will come to an end if everything does not stay on the same path. It will create a wedge that will eventually break everything apart. They both have different plans that do not coincide with each other, but they have four children that both need parents that are dedicated to them and co-parenting is what is going to happen. 
Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of our other videos.